हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग वेल सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी आर डूइंग द रिलेशनल अल्जेब्रा ऑपरेशन यूजिंग मैप रेड्यूस वी आर येट टू कम्प्लीट सम ऑफ द ऑपरेशन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी हैव सीन द सिलेक्शन प्रोजेक्शन एंड द यूनियन ऑपरेशन आई होप इट इज क्लियर टू यू ऑल नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वील बी स्पेसिफिकली सींग द इंटरसेक्शन ऑपरेशन एट अ ग्लैंस so let me first tell what intersection means if we have two tables and if some of the records between those two tables are same then in that case the records that are same in both the tables is the output of the intersection operation so now let's have a look at the algorithm that mapreduce uses for performing this particular operation so as you know that mapreduce majorly does two task first is the map task and second is the reduce task so in the map task we will be iterating over all the values and we'll store each value in the temporary variable tuple and we'll simply emit the key comma value in the form of tuple comma tuple and now inside the reduce task we will check whether the values part in the key value pair contains more than one tuple which means the length of the value part is more than 1 then in that case it clears out that the key has got repeated and hence we can conclude it as the intersection value if the algorithm is not clear to you all then don't worry we will be solving this particular example in detail so that all your doubts will get cleared so let's start solving this particular example in this particular example we have taken two map workers and each map worker contains section of two table so it is named as table 1 and table 2 so if you look at the first records in both the table so you can see that the record is 1 2 in the first table and in the second table also it is 1 2 which says that it is same and hence it, it will be a part of final result because the record is common in both the tables i hope the concept of intersection is clear but we'll have to solve it with the help of the map reduce algorithm so let's start with the very first step in which you need to convert the records into key value pairs as you know map task converts all the records in the form of key value pairs by iterating over all the values so let me create the structure of the table that we created as part of this step so if we focus at the first record the record is 1 and 2 so we will be creating a tuple 1 comma 2 and we will place it in both the key and the value section similarly we have 3 comma 1 in the next record so we will be creating the tuple 3 comma 1 in the key as well as in the value now the third record 1 comma 2 is already present inside our database so we will just append the tuple 1 comma 2 in the value part next we have 2 comma 1 we will place it in the new key value pair now we are done with converting all the records from the map worker 1 now we'll perform the similar operation on the map worker 2 so you can see that none of the tuples have got repeated in the map worker 2 hence we'll be writing four different key value pairs for all the four records something like this so this will be the final result of this particular step now let's move on to the next step now in this particular step we'll be applying a hash function to the result we have got from the previous step now after applying the hash function key value table that we have created in the previous step for every map worker it will be divided into two and therefore each map worker will be having two key value tables first half of the records will be placed in the first key value table and second half of the records will be placed in the next key value table similarly for the other map worker also so let me quickly create the structure of the table that will look like in the next step so now we are done with creation of the structure so now we'll fill the values so as i said first half of the values will be placed in the first key value table so you can see that the first tuple is 1 comma 2 so we will write it in the first key value table 
Now next tuple is 3 comma 1. Again we'll write it in the first key value table. And next we have 2 comma 1. We'll write it in the next key value table. So that was all about the first map worker. Now we'll do the same for the next map worker. So let me quickly write all the tuples in their place. So as you can see, we are done with this. Now in the next step, we'll have to swap one of the key value table from the first map worker with one of the key value table from the second map worker. Actually, this is the task of the reducer workers. So this map workers will now get converted into the reducer workers and it will switch these two tables among the map workers. This is usually done to avoid the redundancies that may be caused because of the duplicated key value pairs between the tables from different map workers. So again, we'll be having four key value tables in this particular step also. So let me quickly create the structure of it. So you can see the structure is created. So now we'll write all the tuples from the first key value table that we have got in the previous step as it is in the current step also. And we will just switch the second table from the first reducer worker with the first table from the next reducer worker, something like this. And apart from that, everything will be as it is. So let me write all the tuples in their places. So as you can see now we are done with the switching task. Now you can notice one thing that in this particular reducer worker 2 we have got duplicated keys that is 2 comma 1. So I hope now it is clear why we usually perform this switching task. So in the next step we will be creating a single key value table in both the reducer workers and it will contain all the tuples that we have got in the previous step. So let me quickly create the structure of the next step. So as I said, there will be a single key value table in both the reducer workers. And now we will write all the tuples that we have got in the previous step. So let me quickly write for the first reducer worker. Now, since we don't have any duplicated values, after switching the tables, we will have four tuples in reducer worker one for this step also. Now, if we move on to the reducer worker two, you can see that the tuple two comma one has got repeated and instead of writing it twice, we can simply write the key one time and we can club the values in a single line. So after writing this, we are done with this particular step. So now we'll move on to the next step. But before that, let's have a look at the algorithm that what exactly has to be done in the next step. So if we have a look at the algorithm, we can see that in the next step, we need to check whether the length of the values for a particular key is greater than one or not. If it is greater than one, then we will emit the key part of it. So we will write the condition that if the length of the values part for a particular key is greater than one, then we will emit only those keys. So let me quickly write the condition. So now if we clearly look at the first record, you can see that the length of the values for the first key is greater than one. Hence, this will be a part of the final result. Similarly for the reducer worker 2, the key 2 comma 1 has the length of the values greater than 1. Hence, it will be also a part of the final result. So let me quickly write the structure of the next step and it will contain two key value tables. So now if we look at the reducer worker 1, in that we have first tuple as 1 comma 2, which is actually having the length of the values greater than 1. Hence, it will be a part of the final result which will be from the reducer worker 1. Now if we move on to the reducer worker, we again have one key which has values that have got repeated more than once. Hence the key 2 comma 1 will also be a part of the final result. And there we go. We are just one step ahead of the final result. If you remember our 
question contained tables which contains two attributes a and b so our final result should also contains the attributes a and b in both the reducer workers so we'll have to create a table for writing those attributes and once we are created with the structure of the table we will just have to focus on the key section in that we have two values inside the tuple one comma two so the first value will be a part of the first attribute a and the second value which is two which is a part of the second attribute b and similarly for the next reducer worker will be having two under a and one under b and there we go we are done with solving this particular problem and applying intersection operation successfully onto this two map workers with the help of the map reduce algorithm now if we check with the manual method also we get the same result that we have got after applying this particular algorithm so i hope you understood the entire solution and if you guys have any single doubt you can straight away put it in the comment section i'll be happy to solve it and also don't forget to post your suggestions as well as reviews regarding this particular video and for more such videos do like share and subscribe to my channel also hit the bell icon and don't forget to follow me on instagram thanks a lot for watching and have a great day ahead